Hello, so today we're going to be doing this um, summer flower square that I did up. I'm going to be making a, a lap blanket and a, a curtain for my window, or a balance, not a curtain. And um, I just wanted to show you guys how to get started on this. So today we're just going to be doing the center here. So, I'm using worsted weight yarn, number four, or Aaron weight, and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm using the Red Heart Comfort yarn. So, get the, oops. Tie them in knots so that I wouldn't lose them. So we'll just be. So this is just a simple uh, magic ring or adjustable ring, and I'm doing a um, an invisible join for the or uh, finishing off the invisible. Kind of way. So first of all, you make your ring. Just wrap it around your fingers, hook through, and chain two. And this is going to count as a, a double crochet. And I know it's not a chain three, which is normally what a double crochet is, but that's because I'm doing the invisible um, finish off. So it's DC 11. So one. So that makes it end up being 12 double crochets. So two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. I'm just going to double check that. Oops. There we go. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, and the two. Two chains is twelve, so we're correct. So I need to grab my handy, handy dandy little scissors. Up and down, and I find it's easier to do the join with a bit smaller crochet hook. So this is a uh, four point five millimeter crochet hook. So first, you just pull on the tail that to tighten that loop and what you want to do now to do the invisible join is you need to go through the first loop here and I'm sorry if you hear that that's somebody mowing their lawn outside so nothing I can do about that um, and you pull through so I'll do that again just Go through the top two loops, there's your chain, and you grab the end and pull it through. And then on the back, you just go up through the two loops. See that? It's on the back of the, this is the top of the 
stitch and you grab and pull it through. And you get this nice little invisible join. So I almost can't tell where it, where it is. And then I just hook into the back of one of the chains, the top chain, and pull it through. So at this point, usually what I do is when we do the next round, I'll crochet it in a couple. And then I'll, I'll, um, sew in the ends after that. We'll sew in this end now. This is the center end, so it doesn't matter if it's sewn in right away or not. So, just a, a yarn needle. And through the center, make sure you don't go all the way through the front. And you holler through. And again, and again, and then back through. And I'm going to pass the, past where we were. Uh, there we go. I think, uh, from what it sounds like, the next door neighbor guy is teaching his son how to drive the, lawn, the ride riding lawnmower. That's what it sounds like. I heard them say, watch the turn. So, that's all there is. Cut the end. Now you can always just sew this in right now if you like, but I like working it in a bit first and then sewing it down. So there. And that's all there is for today. I hope you enjoyed. Please uh, give a like, subscribe, and share it out. So, thank you very much, and love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.